Vanessa Fundamentals. I'm Kimberly. In today's practice, I'm going to recommend having a couple of blocks, and, or books will do the job, uh, or a strap, or a belt. <laughs> so if you practice with me, you know that I read a lot from this very well-loved book, The Book of Awakening by Mark Nepo. And really what it is, it's a day-by-day uh, quote and a story and a meditation. And I don't always really follow the days truly, uh, but this morning I was thinking, what what can I share? What can I, what can I, what, what maybe needs to be heard today? And so I actually just opened up to the day. And so I'm going to read from May 7th. It's, co- it's called The Ordinary Art. It starts by saying, before fixing what you're looking at, check what you're looking through. Before fixing what you're looking at, check what you're looking through. The author goes on to write, it was a beautiful sun-filled day. I had driven 300 miles to, (coughs) pardon me, 300 miles to see her. She was 94 and had been in one room for close to eight months. I was her firstborn grandson and she was so happy to see me. But after catching up, We sat in silence on the edge of her bed, and finally she complained how gray a day it was. I realized then that her one window hadn't been cleaned in almost a year. When I said this, she chuckled, as only someone 94 can, and uttered with a Russian accent, got a dirty eye, see a dirty world. It is the same with our minds and hearts, for our very self, is the one window we have into this life. And so often, we suffer the mood of a dirty window, believing the brilliant world gray. Perhaps the purpose of authentic relationship is to help each other keep our minds and hearts clear. Perhaps inner work is the ordinary art of window washing, so that the day, (coughs) so that the day is fully is fully the day. (laughs) Let's find a nice tall seat and close your eyes, please. Hmm. You can rest your hands comfortably on your knees, your thighs, your lap, or on your person. Palms can be down if you're feeling a bit ungrounded. The palms can roll open, index finger and thumb softly touching. Yana Mudra. And from the rootedness of your low body, take an inhale, grow a little bit taller. As you exhale, broaden your collarbones, soften the shoulder blades onto your back towards your spine, and slide the corners of your neck back, stacking your head right over your heart. Let's take an inhale through your nose, please. And open the mouth, let it go. (sighs) One more time, smooth inhale. Out the mouth, let it go. (sighs) (coughs) Closing lips softly. Take a smooth inhale through the nose. With the lips together, exhale all the breath out. Through the nose, take a smooth inhale. Pause at the top, and a nice smooth exhale, a pause at the bottom, a smooth inhale, a pause, a smooth exhale, and a pause at the bottom, and continuing just like that.
let's bring the palms to stack at the center of your heart. You might even notice your heart beating underneath your hands. And from your heart, call upon your heartfelt intention dedication or heartfelt prayer for your practice or out into the world. And we'll sing the sound of Om one time together. First, a breath, take a nice inhale. And let it go. <sighs> inhale. thinking mind to your heart. Softening all the musculature at the sides of the neck, tops of the shoulders, base of the skull. And then very slowly stack your head right over your heart. And if you softly blink your eyes to open, taking in your surroundings, maybe a little more clear. And find a little movement here. As you inhale, open your arms, let your heart look up. As you exhale, bow in, hands to the heart. You might round in a bit here. Inhale, open, expand, lift your heart, look up. Exhale, hands to your heart. And we'll do this three more times. Inhale, open, expand. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. This time, inhale, open your elbows and sit up nice and tall here. So if your chest is popping forward, draw your front ribs a little bit towards your back ribs. Let's go ahead, unwind your arms. Melt the shoulder blades onto your back, sit up a little bit taller, and then bend your elbows, bring your hands to your shoulders. Bring your hands to your shoulders. Take an inhale, go wider into your elbow joints. As you exhale, bring your elbows forward, maybe they tap. And then inhale, lift them up. Bring them back, try to tap them behind you, they're not going to tap. And then continue. If they do, we have what we call in Sanskrit, a situation. So continuing nice and easy, nice and easy. I like to really imagine I could tap my elbows on the back, getting into those perhaps uncomfortable spaces. But as always, you take what serves you, discard what doesn't, and change what needs to be changed. Let's reverse the circles, please. Next time the elbows come together, pause, and lift the elbows up, bring them out, and then unwind them. Let's make our way into Balasana, child's pose. Have the knees to meet you. The knees might be together, the knees might be nice and wide. Arms can be forward, arms can be back. And taking this time really close to the earth to soften down into the earth, to be received. And send your breath into the back of the body. And send your breath into the back of the body, really expanding your lungs without pushing. Your arms.
arms stretching forward. Let's inhale forward to a tabletop position. Let's do a few rounds of cat-cow together. So when you're ready, inhale, draw your heart forward. Exhale, round the spine. And again, inhale, draw your heart forward. Maybe there's a pause at the top. Exhale, round. Two more, in through. Inhale to a nice long spine. Collarbones are broad, shoulder blades onto your back. And let's go ahead and walk your hands about one handprint forward. Shift the shoulders right over the wrists here and the knees down plank. Rooting down in the corners of your hands, take an inhale here in one piece all the way to your belly, all the way down you go. And we're going to set up for Sphinx Pose. We're going to set up for Sphinx Pose. So come on to your forearms. Elbows right under your shoulders. If you have a really sensitive low back, widen your feet as wide as your sticky mat is wide. Press your toenails down. Drag your toenails up towards your hips. Something might happen in your low belly. Allow the collarbones to broaden. The outer arms to roll back. And the shoulder blades to soften onto your back towards your spine. Lengthening the base of the skull. As you inhale, hands are dragging back. As you exhale, round your upper back, gaze at your navel. Tops of your thigh bones might lift a little bit. Inhale, draw your heart forward, sphinx pose. Exhale, round your upper back, gaze at your navel. Again, inhale, draw your heart forward. Exhale, round. This time, inhale, draw your heart forward. And as you exhale, lower all the way down. And this time, you're going to bring your hands nice and wide off your yoga mat, really in line with uh, your chest. Tent your finger pads. Keep the collarbones broad. Elbows are widening. Take a breath. As you exhale here, really glue your toenails down, pubic bone down. On an inhale, peel yourself up. Fingers press down and forward. And as you exhale, roll yourself all the way down. Do this a few times. Inhale, peel yourself up like a little wave rippling. Exhale, roll it all the way down. Two more. Inhale, peel yourself up. Exhale, roll it down. One more time. Inhale. Exhale, all the way down you go. Plant your hands alongside your chest. Very slowly press to child's pose, knees wide. And you might choose to stay here, or I'll meet you in downward facing dog. Although everybody knows what they're doing in here today. So downward facing dog. Once again, if you have a really sensitive low back, you might bring your feet as wide or maybe even wider than your yoga mat. You might bend your knees. As your hands press down and forward, bring your attention to your upper arm bones. Wrap your upper arm bones open. Keep the collarbones broad. Navel softly drawing towards your spine. And the tops of your thigh bones are reaching up and back. You might bend and straighten your knees a few times like you're painting the wall behind you with your sitting bones. You're welcome to move differently here. And then keep the knees soft. And let's begin to slowly walk your hands back today to meet your feet. Feet might stay nice and wide. Bend your knees, catch hold of opposite elbows, please. Just allow gravity to really hold you. You might invite a little movement here. And then on 
uncross and recross in the opposite direction. Unwinding yourself completely. On an inhale, halfway rise, hands to the floor or shins. As you exhale here, draw your navel towards your spine. Walk your hands up, maybe all the way to your thighs, and then see what it feels like to reach your arms out to the sides like bird wings. If that feels like a terrible idea, bring your hands to your hips, totally fine. Root down into the earth, keep your knees bent with a long spine. Inhale, come all the way up. And exhale, hands to your heart. Relax your arms down. Heel toe your feet about hip bone distance apart. Close your eyes, please. Finding Tadasana here. Really anchoring in the mound of the big toe, mound of the pinky toe, in the center of your heels. Lift your toes up, spread them wide. Imagine each toe is a little turtle sticking its head out of its shell. And relax your little turtle toes down. <laughs> and imagine your toes are resting on a thin sheet of paper. Imagine your toes are resting on a thin sheet of paper. And try not to indent the paper. And try not to indent the paper. And the arches of your feet softly lifting. Unlock your knees, deepen your groins, and flesh of the buttocks draping towards your heels so there's support in your low belly. And stacking your ribs right over the bowl of the pelvis. A nice way to check that is to notice if your bottom two or three ribs, your floating ribs, are sticking forward. So if that's you, draw your floating ribs back, really stacking the entire cage of the ribs right over that pelvic bowl. Head is right over your heart. As the shoulders soften, creating space from the shoulders to the earlobes. Softening the skin of your ears. Allow the crown of the head to rise. You might keep the eyes closed and take a slow walking meditation forward to the top of your yoga mat. Walking meditation forward to the top of your yoga mat. I will meet you there. If you fall off the edge, it's probably not very far. And when you're ready, blink your eyes to open. On an inhale, reach both arms up. As you exhale, catch hold of your right wrist with your left hand. Let's take an inhale, reach up more. As you exhale, navel to spine, side bend. And breathe. You might soften your knees if that feels better. Navel softly drawing in and up. Find space from your right hip bone to your right ribs. Just reaching. On an inhale, rise up. Exhale, switch wrists, pause. Inhale, reach up more. Exhale, navel to spine, side bend. So up to go over. Once again, feel free to soften your knees. It may or may not feel better. Keep the navel softly drawing in and up. And can you create space from your left hip bone to your left ribs? One more breath. Inhale, come on up. As you exhale, separate your wrists, pause. Let's take an inhale together. As you exhale, bow forward, all the way down you go. On an inhale, halfway rise, maybe you airplane your arms, just an option. Exhale, fold. We're gonna do that two more times, please. Inhale, halfway rise, maybe you airplane your arms. Exhale, fold. Last time, inhale, halfway rise, Exhale, fold all the way down. Bend your knees, step your right leg way back, runner's lunge. 
So this is a good time to notice if your shoulders are deeply rounding off your back. If that's you, then you might take your blocks or your books and place them underneath your hands. Your height feels good. That front knee is right over the ankle. Your inner thighs are drawing towards one another. Your right heel is reaching towards the wall behind you and your heart is lengthening towards a wall in front of you. Now, I want to give the option to stay right here or keep the torso resting on your front thigh, but sweep your arms back this time. Now, the palms, my palms are down. Palms can be in towards the body or down. I'll give you the choice. I'll give you the choice. One's going to feel better for you. Wherever you are, broaden your collarbones and really wrap the outer arms up towards the ceiling above you. Draw your navel in and up and hover a few inches off your front thigh. And hover a few inches off your front thigh. So there's a nice long line of energy from your right heel to the crown of your head. And then begin to bend your back knee. And then inhale your arms up. High lunge, crescent lunge. Didn't see that coming, did you? So from here, if you feel a little wobbly, heel toe your front foot a little bit to the left. Root your feet down. Scissor your feet together or hug your inner thighs together. Draw the navel up and reach up. You might even look up. So as that front knee lunges forward, if it's okay for your low back, you can reach that right heel back. You don't have to. Right? Compression in your low back, rebend with the navel drawing it up, lifting your gaze. Lifting carefully, take a nice inhale here. As you exhale, reach forward once again, hover, bring your left thumb into your left hip crease or groin in the front. Take an inhale, grow longer in both directions. As you exhale, plant your right hand down and begin to roll your navel to the left. Collarbones are broad, shoulder blades on your back. Find a little cobra in your upper back. And you might keep your thumb where it is, your hand on your hip. Or inhale your left arm to the sky. Breathe. Keep hugging inner thighs together. Take one more inhale together here. As you exhale, plant that hand down. And we're going to inhale, step forward to the top of your mat. And exhale, fold. Airplane your arms out. Inhale, come all the way up. Look up, reach up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Sama Sukiti. <laughs> Take a resting breath here. Nice inhale. And out the mouth. <sighs> One more time, please. Nice inhale. And let it go. <sighs> this time, inhale, stretch your arms up. As you exhale, bow forward all the way down you go. On an inhale, halfway rise, you might airplane your arms. Exhale, fold and melt. Bend your knees, step your left leg way back. Runner's lunge. Front knee right over the ankle. Hug your inner thighs together. And as your left heel reaches towards the back of the room, draw your heart forward towards the wall in front of you. And even if the hands are resting on the floor or blocks, and the shoulders soften onto your back. We're not pushing or depressing them down. We're just relaxing them towards the, down the back, towards the spine. We're not touching your ears. So you might stay here or keep resting on your front thigh, but begin to sweep your arms back, palms down or in, you choose. Broaden your collarbones, step the outer arm bones back, and draw your navel in and up and hover few inches off your front thigh. Hover a few inches off your front thigh. You can always lower your hands down. It's fine. Otherwise, feel your strength here. Back heel reaching a nice line of energy to the crown of your head. One more breath. You've got this. And then begin to bend your back knee. Inhale, rise up to crescent lunge, high lunge. Once again, if you're wobbly, widen your right foot a little more to the right. Root your feet down. Scissor your feet together, hug your inner thighs together. Allow the navel to draw in and up, the heart to lift. 
maybe, maybe that back heel reaches back. Breathe. One more breath. Take a nice inhale here. As you exhale, hinge forward, hover. Bring your right thumb to your right hip crease or groin. Take an inhale, widen your hands apart. As you exhale, plant your hand down and begin to roll your navel to the right. Keep tacking your outer right hip back. Find a little cobra in your upper back. And maybe that right arm reaches up. It doesn't have to. Breathe. One more inhale here. As you exhale, lower all the way down. We'll step forward as you inhale. And exhale, fold. On an inhale, halfway rise. Let's exhale, airplane wing your arms. Long spine, inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale through your nose. Sigh it out. Ah. One more time. Nice inhale. Sigh it out. Ah. Let's take a quarter turn with, I'm going to say, your left leg to face forward. It doesn't really matter which leg you do first. If you need to see, please do according. Uh, do whatever works for you. Uh, just make sure you do both legs. So if you know you like a block for triangle pose, you might have a block behind both heels. A block behind both heels. Stretch your arms out and measure your stance, please. Bring your hands to your hips. Let's start with the right leg. Deep within the hip socket, pivot your right toes forward. And slightly pigeon toe this back leg, heel to arch alignment. Well, you're two. On an inhale, stretch out your arms. As you exhale, lunge forward, warrior two. Five breaths. Grounding into the earth. Widening your mat apart. Sideways, nice and long, crown of the head rising. I want you to check out that left arm. Make sure it's in one beautiful line. Breathe. Just keeping that focal point, that drishti, right out over your front middle finger. One more breath. Listen carefully. Flip your front palm open. Reach a little bit forward. Inhale, reverse your warrior up to go over. Option to take this light bottom hand and catch your top wrist. Just an option. As that wrist draws back, front knee lunges forward. Keep that space from your right hip bone to your right ribs and breathe. If this doesn't serve you, don't do it. If you have the wrist, we'll go ahead and release it. Let's inhale Vera 2, please. Pause. Triangle pose. As you inhale, straighten your front knee. As you exhale, reach forward, 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 side body long. If you're like you're painting the wall in front of you, slide that arm down to the thigh, the shin, the block, the floor. And reach your left arm to the sky. You might even bring your top hand to the hip as an option. And if that's you, can you roll, or wherever you are, can you roll that top hip open er without compromising? Your right leg. So the right butt flesh is wrapping under. And your left hip is leaning back. Sideways is nice and long. And breathe. You might even draw earth energy from your feet all the way up to the hips. And then expand your fingertips. One more breath here. Nice inhale. Stay for your exhale. Slowly gaze down. Unlock your standing knee or bend it a little more, please. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, 
exhale your hands to your hips. Parallel your feet. You might narrow your feet a little bit. So with your hands on your hips, tap your elbows back. Loop one shoulder up, back, and onto your back. Loop the other shoulder up, back, and onto your back. So the very center, the very center of your shoulder blades are drawing towards one another here. Floating ribs drawing back. You might stay here or interlace your fingers. Take an inhale, lift your heart, look up. As you exhale, bow forward. And breathe. Keep the outer arms wrapping up towards the ceiling. The center of your shoulder blades drawing towards one another. And you might find a little movement here. hands to low back, down the legs, right under your shoulders. On an inhale, halfway rise. As you exhale here, navel to your spine, maybe you airplane your arms. Keep your spine nice and long. Inhale, rise. Arms might reach all the way up this time. And exhale, hands to your heart. Stretch the arms out, please. Remeasure your stance. Ankles underneath your wrists. Bring the hands to the hips. Pivot your left toes forward. And the right toes slightly forward. Heel to arch alignment. Anchoring into the earth with your feet. Take an inhale, stretch your arms open. And as you exhale, vira two. Five breaths. Now sometimes you move in and out of the shape, right? So if that serves you, it's fine. Otherwise, can you be right here? Really becoming the pose. Noticing what's going on within the pose. Are your shoulders touching your ears? Maybe you melt them down. Are your ears holding you up? Maybe you soften the skin around your ear. Gazing right out over your front middle finger. Soft eyes. We'll flip your front palm, reach a little bit forward, inhale, reverse your warrior, up to go over. Once again, option to keep this top hand, top, pardon, pardon me, this bottom hand nice and light, or you can catch your top wrist, draw that wrist back, lunge your front knee forward, head in line with your inner arms. And can you find space from your left hip bone to your left ribs? And breathe. Gaze can be wherever it feels good. One more breath. Relax that bottom arm down. Let's inhale, Vera two, please. We'll pause for the exhale. Triangle pose. Inhale, begin to straight 10 or contract the quadriceps. As you exhale, reach forward, 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 side, body long. Slide that left hand down to the thigh, the shin, the block, the floor. And reach your right arm up in the opposite direction. Buttocks flesh is wrapping under. Your right hip bone is leaning back. As you reach up more, maybe the gaze lifts. Breathe. Take a nice inhale together. As you exhale, gaze down, soften your standing knee. Inhale, come all the way up and parallel your feet. Bring your hands to your hips. Tap your elbows back and can you keep your collarbones nice and broad here? So keeping that, go ahead, interlace your fingers the other way or find a strap or your shirt. Keep the collarbones broad, have the center of your shoulder blades together. Take an inhale, lift your heart, look up. As you exhale, bow. Maybe the knuckles lift. Maybe. And breathe. If you want to straighten the legs, it's fine. But begin to lift the fronts of your legs up and the backs of your legs down. If that makes your back round, 
bend your knees forward. hands to low back, down the sides of the legs, right under your shoulders. On an inhale, press the floor away. As you exhale, either hands to the hips or airplane arms. On an inhale, come all the way up. You might reach your arms up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Let's bring your hands to your hips. And we're going to pivot everything to the right. We're going to pivot everything to the right. If you know you need or want blocks for a forward fold, you might go ahead and have your blocks conveniently located. So I want your hips squaring forward. Your right foot is forward. Your back toes are forward enough that your outer left hip is wrapping forward. And hop that foot in about a foot. So your legs are about three feet apart here. Now, if you already feel wobbly, heel toe your left foot, pardon me, your right foot a little bit more to the right. Soften your standing knee, anchor your back foot down. Take an inhale, reach your left arm up. As you exhale, hinge forward, parallel to the floor, and then lower that arm down wherever it wants to go. On the shin, you might bring it to the block inside the foot. You might even bring it to the block outside the foot. I'm going to keep my hand on my shin. Take an inhale here, and as you exhale, begin to turn your navel to the right. You're going to turn your navel to the right. And once again, you might keep your hand where it is. If you want to bring your hand to the block outside the foot, be my guest. Find a little cobra in your upper back, and maybe reach that arm up. You don't have to. Keep hugging your inner thighs together and growing up longer. Breathe. A nice inhale here. As you exhale, slowly unwind. Square your shoulders, square your hips. As your hips draw back, take an inhale, grow your heart forward. You might stay right here. Or exhale for Parsvottana, pyramid pose, five breaths. If you're deeply collapsing into your organs, keep a nice long spine. Maybe don't lift your torso parallel to the floor. Imagine what it felt like when the arms were airplane, right? Inner thighs rolling back and the feet rooting down. And wherever you are, let's take a nice inhale. As you exhale, begin to soften your front knee forward. Listen carefully, it's kind of a tricky transition. We're gonna slowly walk everything towards the center. You might bring your blocks with you, you don't have to. Let's take an inhale here, grow longer. And as you exhale, let's take a forward fold. Five breaths. Pasarita Walk your hands right under your shoulders or to blocks if that's helpful. Take an inhale, lengthen your spine. Once again, exhale either hands to hips or airplane your arms. And keep that long spine. Inhale, come all the way up. And exhale, hands to your heart. Bring hands to the hips. We'll take the second side. We'll begin to pivot everything to the left. If you found those blocks handy, you might have them nearby. So your left foot straight forward, right toes forward enough that the outer right hip is forward. And hop that foot in so your feet are about three feet apart. Soften your front knee. And take an inhale, reach your right arm up. As you exhale, hinge forward. Keep the navel drawing towards your spine. Keep tacking your left, pardon me, your left hip back. Yeah. And then go ahead and lower your hand down to the shin, a block, maybe on the inside. 
to the outside of your shoes. And keep tapping that left hip back, turn your navel to the left, and maybe that left arm reaches up. Once again with the hands, that bottom hand can be right under the shoulder. You can play with it a little bit. And the shin, if you're feeling really good in the twist, you can bring it to the floor or a block outside the foot. Does it make you a better yoga? Inner thighs hugging together. And a little cobra in the upper back. Nice. One more inhale together. As you exhale, slowly unwind your arms, square your shoulders, square your hips. Take an inhale, grow longer, option to stay here. Or exhale, fold, cars bow to nasana, pyramid pose. And if you're collapsing into your organs, or you can't breathe very deeply here, grow your spine a little bit longer. Imagine you were airplaning your arms. And your thighs roll back. Nice inhale here. As you exhale, bend the front knee forward. Different transition this time. Plant your hands down. You're going to step back to plank pose. Option to lower your knees and flatten the feet. Take an inhale here. Press the floor away. Feel the strength of your arms. As you exhale, lower in one piece. All the way down you go. So from here... Let's stack your hands right under your forehead. Let's grow the legs a little bit longer. So curl one set of toes under, pick up that knee, press out to that heel, lower the knee, flatten the foot, and then other side, curl your other toes under, pick up that knee, press out to the heel, lower the knee, flatten the foot. And you might do that one more time each side. And then bring your forehead down, and same rules as earlier. The feet might be all the way together. We're not weight-bearing. If you have a sensitive low back, you might widen them. And let's bring the arms down alongside the body. Palms can either turn down or palms can turn in. Just like earlier, I'll give you the choice. Wherever you are, broaden your collarbones. Draw the center of your shoulder blades together. Take a breath. Low body will stay anchored. On an inhale, upper body lifts, forehead, upper chest, upper back. Maybe the arms lift. So keep rolling the outer arm bones back. If you want to interlace, be my guest. Center of your shoulder blades drawing together. And as the fingertips reach towards the back of the room, draw the back of the heart towards the front of the room. And breathe. Grow your legs longer. Keep your toenails anchored. One more breath. As you exhale, lower and rest all the way down. You might wag the hips a little bit from side to side. That was Ardha Shalabhasana, or half locust pose. Well, let's give the option to move into locust this time. So bring your forehead down, arms down, same choices. Broaden your collarbones. Draw the center of your shoulder blades together. Take a breath. Let's keep the fingertips on the floor. On an inhale, everything else lifts. Everything else lifts. Keep hugging the center of your shoulder blades together. Maybe the arms lift. And you're welcome to play here. We've really moved the arms in all directions today. With the outer arm bones wrapping back. Spread your toes wide. Grow longer. Breathe. And as you exhale, lower all the way down and rest. And wag your hips a bit from side to side. You might even bend your knees, wag your shins from side to side. When you're ready, we're going to come back.
back to Sphinx Pose. We're going to come back to Sphinx Pose. Elbows under the shoulders. And we're going to get into the quadriceps a little bit. So uh, to be a little more gentle, you walk your elbows a little more forward. I'm going to slide my, my elbows a little bit forward here. Bring your right forearm parallel to the front edge of your mat. Bend your left knee. You can point your foot. And then reach your left arm around. Catch the inseam of the foot. I like to kick the foot into the hand, find a little more length in your low back. Keep rooting your pivot bone down, grow your uh, right leg longer, left toe, uh, right toenail down, pardon me. And then maybe you draw your left heel in towards the buttocks. You might even do that hand flip if you have it. So the heel is drawing in towards the buttocks. If it touches the buttocks, you can bring it just outside. Now we're not collapsing in the low back, so keep the navel drawing in and up. Press your front forearm down. Breathe. Slowly exhale, release, sphinx pose. And then we'll take the second side. So bring your left forearm parallel. Bend your right knee. Reach your right arm around. Catch the inseam of the foot. Roll the outer right ribs forward. Take an inhale. Kick the foot into the hand. Grow longer. Left toenail down. And exhale, maybe the heel draws in. You can do the hand flip, great, if not, who cares? The heel is touching the sitting bone, once again, bring it just outside of the sitting bone. Keep the navel drawing in and up, and press down in your left forearm, so you're not collapsing down. And shoulder blades onto your back, towards your spine. I'm just taking one more inhale here. As you exhale, slowly release. You can stack your hands, shake your tail. And so we'll take one more back bend together. It's a little bit of a choose your own adventure as it always usually is. So either half locust, full locust, or set up for Danya Ross in a bow pose. So if that's you, bend your knees and see what it feels like to reach back to the outer edges of your feet where your toes and your feet meet. If you don't catch your toes, you can always loop a strap around your feet or flex your feet and simply don't reach your feet, totally fine. Otherwise, holding the outer edges of your feet, knees parallel or all the way together, root your pubic bone down, take a breath please, and then kick your feet into your hands, inhale, come on up. Lengthening from the backs of your knees to your armpits. Shoulder blades are sliding down the back towards your spine. Back of the neck is nice and long. And breathe. You might even take a nice inhale. And let's hum. Mm -hmm. You might do that one more time. Nice inhale. Mm -hmm. Take an inhale together. Exhale, lower all the way down. And last. <sighs> nice, wag your hips. Press back to a wide knee child's pose. Knees as wide as your sticky mat is wide. Big toes touch. Forehead relaxing. Now from here, you see what it feels like to bring your palms all the way together. You might even scoop your pinkies a little bit forward. And either lift your fingertips straight up or between your shoulder blades, your choice. And breathe, five breaths. You might even crawl your elbow joints a little bit forward early, little crab claws. And the outer arms are wrapping open. And breathe. And breathe. So I think our windows are 
pretty polished by now. Covering that dust or the cobwebs. ready, unwind your arms, slide your hands back towards your knees and very slowly round yourself up to sit. We'll shift the hips to one side, stretch your legs forward, shake out your knees. Now you might want your strap nearby if you have one. You might want your strap nearby if you have one. And very mindfully, we're going to make our way all the way under your back. So there's no one way to do anything. We did a decent amount of sneaky core work today, but if you want more, be my guest. Once you arrive, feel free to move or stretch in any way that feels good. You might give your body a full stretch. You might hug your knees in. So a little organic movement here. Go ahead, plant your feet flat on the earth, and you're going to find your strap, hopefully conveniently located. You're going to strap up your right foot at the, let's strap up the foot at the uh, heel today, or really the base of the arch, front edge of the heel. Base of the arch, front edge of the heel. And press your foot up into the strap. And start with that leg 90 degrees. Start with that leg 90 degrees. Shoulders soft. And I like the idea of keeping your left knee bent if you really want to extend it long, be my guest. Lengthening the back of your right thigh forward towards the wall in front of you. Lengthening right calf forward. And then allow your right low back to soften down. You can softly pull the strap straight down towards the hip. And then catch hold of both sides of the strap in your left hand. And take your right hand thumb into your right hip crease or groin. Press it forward. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, draw that right leg a few inches to the left. And your left knee, if it's bent, a few inches to the right. So basically, go more cost in the legs. More cow face legs. Keep pressing your right thumb forward. If you want to play with it a little bit, you might bend your left elbow, draw that right leg more diagonally towards your left shoulder, but keep pressing your right thumb forward, do both, and breathe. Focusing a little more on the exhale side of the breath, please. And then we'll inhale, come on up, right leg up, left knee up. And then bend your right knee into the chest. You can move the strap to the side. Keep the knee hugging in. You might flex and point that foot and ankle. You might circle it. And then flex that right foot and ankle. And use your left hand as a guide to cross that foot off the edge of your left thigh. And you might stay right here, left foot to the floor or a block. Or as you exhale, hug that thigh in, reaching between the thigh with your right hand and around the thigh with your left hand. And breathe this. Ten breaths. Left kneecap in line with your left mid collarbone. As everything is all connected, notice as when we get into the low body what's going on in the upper body. We see this all the time, but can you soften the shoulders? Maybe you take a swallow in the back of the throat. My latest obsession has been all the musculature of the face and the jaw and the inner ears. So here, can you create a little space in your back teeth? 
softening all the skin around your ears. What would it feel like to soften your earlobes? One more breath. As you exhale, set that left foot down. Reach your right leg up to the sky. If you catch the back of the thigh, press your thigh forward into your hand. Allow your right low back to soften. And then come onto the heel of your left foot, please. And slide your left leg nice and long. Slide your left leg nice and long. You might stay right here. I might invite that right leg to draw back a little bit. Just an option. Breathe. Now, as you walk up the leg, walk the hands back down. Begin to bend that right knee. Give that knee a good hug, hugging the shins here. Keep the left hand on the shin. Reach your right arm out to the right. Take an inhale. As you exhale, bring the knee across the body. I like to move my bottom hip a little bit back a bit, or you might even bring your uh, right arm over to meet your left arm. Stack your hips here, and then unwind that top arm. That knee doesn't have to touch down. You might slide support, a block, or a pet. Play wherever feels good. Whatever feels good. Hmm. That right shoulder is really softening back here. Right wrist, right fingers. One more breath. Nice inhale. Stay for your exhale, please. And then slowly. Come on up, set your feet down, and then hug your knees in. You might rock a little bit or find some intuitive movement. And then we'll set the feet down. We'll take the second side, so strap up your left foot at the base of the arch today, front edge of your heel, base of the arch front edge of your heel. So that ankle is really directly over the hip. And as we hold the strap like reins here, bring your attention to the back of that thigh. Lengthen the back of that thigh or your hamstrings forward. Draw your attention up to left calf. Lengthen left calf forward. And allow your left low back to soften. You might even pull the strap very softly down. Lubricating the joint a bit here and plugging that femur bone right into its socket. Catch hold of both sides of the strap in your right hand and take your left thumb into your left hip crease or groin in the front, press it forward, take an inhale, and as you exhale, left leg a few inches to the right, right knee a few inches to the left, and breathe. Focusing a little more on the exhale side of the breath. So we're pressing your thumb forward to keep that hip from lifting towards the shoulder, right? So keep pressing forward, and then maybe you bend your right elbow, draw that leg a bit more diagonally towards your right shoulder, and breathe. Do you love it? Long exhale. And then on an inhale, we'll lift that leg back up. You'll bend the knee in, release the strap. As you hug that knee in, you can flex and point and circle the ankle. And then giving that chin a good hug, flex the foot and use your right hand as a guide to cross that foot off the edge of your right thigh. You might stay here, foot on the floor or a block. 
or exhale that right thigh in. Reach in between the thighs with your left hand, around the thigh with your right hand. And 10 breaths right here. Maybe you hold the shin. Right kneecap is in line with your right mid collarbone. Make sure the bowl of your pelvis is neutral. Energy is flowing smoothly. Upper chest is softening. Throat is softening. Little space in the back feet. Inner ears are widening. Breathe. On an exhale, we'll set that right foot down. We'll stretch that left leg to the sky. Catch the back of the hands with your pardon me, but catch the back of your thigh with your hand. You might stay here. I'll come on to the heel of your right foot and slide your right leg nice and long, back of the leg all the way to the floor. Take an inhale here, press your hands into your hamstring, hamstring back of the hands. And as you exhale, maybe that leg draws back. Doesn't have to. Breathe. You can always use your strap here as well. that leg back up to the sky. As you exhale, bend it in. Catch the shin. Reach your left arm out to the left. Take an inhale. As you exhale, bring the knee a little bit or a lot of it. You might stack your bottom hip under. So I like to bring my left arm over to meet my right arm. Stack my hips. And then unwind that top arm. Left shoulder softening back, the wrist back, hand back. Maybe there's support under your right knee, your shin ankle. You might even set the foot on the thigh. One more full breath here. Navel the spine as you exhale. And slow and controlled, come on up. And set your feet down. Give your knees a good hug, a good squeeze. And if it feels good, exhale, curl up into a tight little ball. You might hold with your shins, you might hug your feet. Relaxing back, and let's take a full body stretch. Arms and legs, nice and long. You might hook thumbs if you like. Stretch and yawn and wiggle. And when you're ready, un winding your arms, maybe sliding support behind your knees or behind your head, setting up for final relaxation. So please take your time. arrive back. Notice 
notice where the back of your body meets the mat behind you. And with the next three exhales, can you soften back more? With the next three exhales, can you soften back more? Palms roll open. Throat is soft. Spacious. And softening your tongue. Space in the back teeth. Teeth might be softly parted. through the inner ears. And softening the inner corners of your eyes. Softening the outer corners of your eyes. And allowing the skin of the forehead Relax down towards your nose and rest. Shavasana. Deepening the breath. Wiggling your fingers and your toes. Circling wrists and ankles. And stretching and yawning. Choose to stay reclined or begin to draw your knees in. And rolling to rest on a side of your choosing. And 
pressing yourself all the way up to a comfortable, tall seat. quote before by Wayne Dyer, we don't see things as they are, we see things as we are. We don't see things as they are, we see things as we are. Maybe that uh, window is a bit more polished. Bring your hands together at your heart reconnecting to your intention or dedication or prayer. Maybe it has changed. And we sing together the sound of one ohm. First, a breath, take a nice inhale and let it go. <sighs> inhale. Together we say, Namaste. Namaste.